Good morning. Welcome to Quilt Chat. We're sitting here this morning with Emily Cross. Hello. Along with Betsy, of course. Bonnie's out again today. And uh, we're excited to have Emily here because she is the designer and sewer of the quilt that is behind us. It's called Medusa Zoa. And it is from uh, the, the uh, AQ magazine that is mm -hmm. just about, yeah, what is that thing? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> the AQ magazine that is coming your way in within the next few days, yes. you'll, you'll have this pattern. Mm -hmm. So uh, Emily, would you like to tell us a little bit about the quilt and absolutely. how you made it? Absolutely. So Medusa Zoa is the scientific name for the family of jellyfish. Uh, so that's kind of like inspiration that started this all off was that beautiful jellyfish print from Zuma by Tula Pink. And once I saw that jellyfish print, I knew I had to use it and that I wanted it to have a block it lived in that was big enough to really show it off. So I ended up creating a paper piecing pattern. Um, I love paper piecing, but for people who don't, it's also really easy to do this as a template piecing project. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to have something that really showcase that fabric while also creating a beautiful overall design. It is a neat design. It's got the ocean colors mm -hmm. and um, I love the little pop of neon. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I do, do too. too. Yes. That is so neat. And it's quilted by Lauren Palmer, correct? Yes. And she did such a beautiful job Just on it. Absolutely. She did gorgeous. a nice custom for us. That was she really did. pretty. She did. Yes. So. so nice. So thank you very much for so letting us hang this quilt today. Absolutely. And I'm glad I to have it in the magazine. I hope everybody will look forward to seeing that in their next issue of American Quilter. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's lots of really good things in there, isn't there? There is. Will you tell us about it later? I will because okay. I forgot to bring the magazine in with me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. We've got so much to talk we about. We do. Today. There are some there's really, a long really, list. you know, uh, the next issue has uh, all of the winning quilts from Fall Paducah. Oh, how fun. And from uh, what was right before Fall Paducah? Blank. Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach. Was that after? <laughs> after. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Yes. No, that's all right. I just was okay. To I'm. It. I'm. You know. You guys just take over. This is not a good take for me. <laughs> We're doing apparently. great. We just miss Bonnie. Yeah. We do. She miss keeps Bonnie. our rhythm going. She does. <laughs> she definitely does. That so anyway, there's a huge, beautiful gallery of quilts and uh, yes. lots of patterns. So it's very fun. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, and, and speaking of Bonnie being gone. I think she usually has some announcements she that does. Uh, you can tell us. And she was kind enough to share those with me. And so we have information about Quilt Week for you. And of course, if you're paying attention, Daytona is open, ready to go. You can get your tickets today and get all registered. Be sure to sign up for your classes because they're filling up super fast. Um, Ricky Timms is going to be at Daytona and he doesn't always come to our shows outside of Paducah to teach, right. but he has classes in Daytona, which is super exciting. And they have a great lineup, and they also have a beautiful beach. Oh, yes. Which makes me I know everybody jealous. loves Quilting to go down and there. beach and awesome teachers. That Daytona show is just growing yes. and growing all the time. It's so cool. It is so cool. And then Lancaster is currently open for members to register, but it will be opening to the public um, on the 4th of December. And so if you aren't a member you should really become one because you want to get signed up for those classes early before the good classes sell mm -hmm. but um otherwise just wait till the fourth and then you can register too mm -hmm. oh it's a wonderful location as well it is everybody loves to go to lancaster oh it's such a neat community isn't mm -hmm. it yes yes and um the paducah quilt contest for spring paducah the deadline is nigh it is. Oh no. <laughs> it's closing too sweat and I'm not even doing it. <laughs> and so December 7th, that deadline happens and you want to get your images for your quilts all in. Well, oh. you have about a week. You know, that's it's possible. It's doable. Yes. I mean, if, assuming your quilt is done. Yeah. <laughs> we and, hope. And you can be finished up pretty quickly there. That's okay. right. Yep, you've got a week. You're right. You're right. And so those are Bonnie's announcements about Quilt Week. Well, thank she you, was kind enough to do those to me. Wasn't that fabulous? And look what happened to show up on my lap. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> this so is the upcoming television. issue of American Quilter. So I hope you'll be watching for this. It's got the cutest little raccoons on the front. Mm -hmm. 
um, down at the bottom corner. I don't know if Alan can, oh, can there's see. Oh, right there, peek, peek, and Mr. Backwards. Aren't these oh, just adorable? They're such a sweet little so family. Cute. This is from Joanne Bates' wedding quilt. Oh, um, neat. From Fall Paducah. So. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Lots of fun things in there. Lots of patterns. We've got a rug pattern. I, excuse me, a floor canvas. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yeah, we're not we're not calling them rugs because it's more than a rug. Um, we've got yes, just landscape quilting tips and mm -hmm. all kinds oh, of fun things from Kathy McNeil too. Uh -huh. That's just wonderful. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun. Well, it's another great issue. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Anne. Yeah. And I noticed this pretty little thing in the corner. That's right. We're <laughs> celebrating, uh, starting in January. This is the January issue, and we're celebrating 35 years of AQS. It's magical. It's it is. It's, so it's a big wonderful. landmark, isn't it? It is. It's, it's incredible to think that AQS has been here through this whole long journey. Right. Do you know what we have? Uh, you know, in, in the back of the magazine, we have I am AQS, uh, which is usually just a highlight about a quilter. This issue, we have an interview with Peggy Dew, who is the one of the first charter members. There oh, were wow. two women who were charter members of the very, very, very beginning of that AQS. So and neat. we've talked to her. She came in to the studio and we had a little chat and that took pictures so and it was fun. So be sure to see that too. That is so fun. Because I remember AQS from Whenever I very first started quilting, yeah, they've, they've always been they here. Have been I don't here all time along. without AQS. Right. So yeah, right. That is so fun. Now you've got uh, stuff going on at the blog, right? It's, it's I almost sure do. it's time to kick into Christmas. It's Christmas time, and so we're ready for Christmas countdown. And so, if you've been paying attention and playing along with us, the last three years we did a Christmas countdown, starting December first, going through December twenty fifth, where we did a block a day. Mm -hmm. And we did that faithfully for three years. And so there's nothing different happening this year. We're doing the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so December 1st, which is Saturday, we will be kicking off the 2018 Christmas countdown. And we have for you some pictures of the quilts. So the first picture is the red and white colorway. It displays all 25 blocks in a 46 inch quilt. Yep. Okay. And then the second colorway, which is an alternate, offers a black red and white option. You could not use black, you could use the green if you wanted, you could use any color you wanted. Um, this became a popular thing for some of our fans to do and uh, we thought we'd play along too. Absolutely. So that you could have the quilt year round. And then if you would like to take all the blocks from all of the years and put them together, it turns oh, into this wow. gorgeous hundred mm -hmm. block quilt. Yes. With a scalloped edge. Look yes. I couldn't resist. I just, it's, it's so, so special. so nice, right. It yeah. kind of has a little bit of a Dear Jane look to it. You know, I might have been a fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling you might be. Oh, that's oh really nice. Now, Emily, I think you've had a little bit to do with these quilts along the way. Yes. Absolutely. Right? I've made every single year except 2015. I was still in college then, so there wasn't much time in December to be quilting. But uh, 2016, 2017, and I'm really excited to be making this year's as well. So. Wonderful. Now, if you'll remember that that red and teal version yes. last yeah. year, that, that was, was Emily. Emily's idea. Yes. It was it was beautiful. I had a lot yes. of fun with it. Mom, uh, I was showing it off to my mom, and she was like, oh, I really like that red and white. And I was like, yeah, but I went up all year. I have a few red and white quilts, so I think I'll do it with some teal. That way it's fun in the summer, kind of fresh, sure. but also sticks with the wintry fun Christmas mm -hmm. times. Yeah, these don't have to be red and white. Mm -hmm. They no, can be any, any color any you like. You like mm -hmm. truly. But, but come sew truly. along with us. Um, they, yes. will, they will be hitting the blog every day. Every single day at aqsblog.com. Come and visit us. We have all the stats and information up and all your social media um, hashtags and where to find us and where to play along at the uh, Christmas countdown group. That we have on Facebook. And then you have the links as well to the previous we years. Do. So you can get the Pick 25 from blocks. all of the pre each of those previous years as well we to do. make your 100. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Yeah. Like if, we, you're, if you're someone who likes to be working ahead and want to take on that 100 block quilt, you've already got three years worth to get started on. You've got 75 blocks already up, ready to go. So yeah. there's no reason you can't start now if you don't want to. And we do have a mm -hmm. handy kit if you would like to do the mm -hmm. 100 block quilt ready to go for you. Oh, good. So you're all set? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. 
Speaking of Christmas, we've been doing fun little Christmas projects and gift ideas that you can make right. for friends and family. What have we got today? And so today, I have a beautiful little ornament, and this pattern lives at aqsblog.com, and you can find it in the free patterns. And it is um, using little prairie points, and I really love this pattern because it works with teeny tiny scraps. So you cut up an inch and a quarter squares. And you need 93 of these little inch and quarters. So as you can see, they don't have to all match, but they can, they're just tiny. They can mm -hmm. be from any kind of leftovers you have. I say, I got so many of that size left in mine. Right. This right. is yeah. stuff that you throw away sometimes. Yeah, it, it takes under an eighth of a yard to do one of these. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so this little ornament um, works with a two and a half inch styrofoam ball. Mm -hmm. And so it's just the building the little prey point. So we start with a square and then we fold it in half. And then we fold it in half again so that you have your little prairie point. Oh, and so you precious. can pin or you can glue this to your styrofoam ball. You put this little guy on the bottom and then you just start building around him. And you just start adding them and just like kind of cover it that oh, way. Oh, right? cute. And then you build your whole ball all the way up. And so we'll show you a picture of the ball so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's really no sewing. No sewing. Necessary at all. Right. Just you can pin the edges of the prairie Oh, point, look how cute it is. That and is then you just glue precious. your ribbon to the top and you're set. I love Perfect that. idea. And it looks like something kids can help with too. They can. They absolutely can. And it'd be really fun for them to help pick up the little scraps that you're going to cut oh, out. Oh, and sure. They'll definitely help you with the folding process. Yes. <laughs> and you could do. It works well with tiny fingers. You could do <laughs> levels of colors or. Oh, there are all kinds of ideas you could think yes. of with that. And as it Beautiful. goes up on that wide part, it just naturally sticks out. So there's mm -hmm. nothing extra you're doing to create that really cool look. Mm -hmm. And so it's a fun little project. It's, it is. It's quick and it doesn't take a lot of, a lot of work or. Right. You can easily do it in front of a TV and pay attention to something else, too. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot this time of year, especially with all nice. the specials that are Yes, out. yes, it is. You know, another fun thing that I found uh, recently, I was uh, looking on Facebook, and I, I follow Beth Ann Nemish's White Arbor quilting. She's quite talented. She has been making koi, you know, a little fish, oh, yes. tropical fish, couching them with yarn. Oh, how beautiful. And beautiful. Yarn couching is becoming a real thing. It's, it's, it's so cool. There was uh, a quilt that a lot of people have seen of a woman's face that was done at the International Quilt Festival. Uh, and I know that that got a lot of attention. Well, Beth Ann is making these gorgeous little purses for Christmas gifts. Oh. And I think we've got pictures of those as well. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, how sweet. And she also... Uh, what has a little video on the on the white arbor quilting quilting facebook page to show exactly how she did that she oh, she neat. couches with yarn it's variegated yarn i believe and she may change up the yarn a little bit and then she also goes back over it with some quilting to give it some depth and character and oh, to add fine. some extra color in some little spots those and are exquisite gorgeous. yes aren't they neat mm -hmm. yes I just th I thought they were gorgeous. And yes. So she's making little purses for gifts. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, it's such a neat way to really elevate an mm -hmm. easy to make gift because zipper pouches are just very fun and simple. Right. That's gorgeous. Beth Ann is so creative. She's done a lot of really different things um, with her quilting and it's really special. She's very artful. She so is. I think that's about it for us today. It is. And we made it, Anne. We did. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Emily. Oh, I'm yes, so glad to be so here. Much. Thank you for having me. Yes. We and hope you, you have a great week. Bye-bye. Yes.